Both major film releases this week, Bumblebee and Mary Poppins Returns, are middling sequels. To call Bumblebee the best movie in the Transformers series wouldn't be a stretch, but it would be damning with faint praise. Certainly, it hits many of the same marks as Michael Bay's original Transformers film, but crucially has an entirely different tone. A misfit teenager does stumble across a ramshackle, unwanted car. Villains arrive on Earth like meteors from outer space, and cartoonish government agents chase everyone around. But on no occasion does anyone get peed on. Unlike Bay's movies, which looked at the Transformers as aliens, Bumblebee director Travis Knight's film sees them mostly as animals caught in a turf war. The Decepticons are predators, and the Autobots are like noble elephants. Bumblebee is merely a lost puppy, caught in the middle of a battle he can't quite comprehend. The friendship that Haley Steinfeld's character forms with him is easily the best thing about his movie. But it isn't quite as affecting as Shia LaBeouf's chemistry with B in the first film. Knight has lived up to his name. The Transformers can wear his shiny armor instead. Rating 3.5 out of 5. The second film, Mary Poppins Returns, arrives more than 50 years after the original. It's a vibrant children's film, made with genuine love for the evergreen classic that remains a perennial favorite amongst audiences of all ages. To be honest, it's quite a miracle it took them this long, but Mary Poppins Returns feels safe, even by Disney's non-provocative standards. Crucially, however, it doesn't feel cynical. It's perfectly cast, for example. Emily Blunt isn't so much doing an impression of Julie Andrews as she is an interpretation. Director Rob Marshall retains the original film's blend of live-action and hand-drawn animation, creating a film that feels deliberately evocative of the past. It certainly isn't his best, but a spoonful of Emily Blunt goes a long way in making the mediocrity go down. Rating 3 on 5.